series with the Rangers when just after 2 p.m. local time, police were called to the team hotel where they found Skaggs unresponsive. He was pronounced deceased at the scene. No foul play is suspected, but an investigation is now underway. Monday night's game between the Angels and Rangers was immediately canceled. The Angels released a statement that read, The Pirates put up an 18 spot against the Cubs, but believe it or not, there's still a lot more action to get to on a five-game Monday night. And though Christian Yelich will be competing in the Home Run Derby a week from Monday, he's in the middle of a rare long ball drought. The reigning NL MVP has not cleared the fences in eight games. But before he had a chance to change that, a different brewer was taking aim for the Welcome back to Quick Pitch. Before the break, we asked you who was the last Padres position player named to the All-Star team. And the answer is Will Myers, who made his lone All-Star appearance back in 2016. Now let's head to San Diego to watch Myers and his vision of whether to compete or not settled. Now the second biggest question is, who's throwing to Vlad? Now, unfortunately, it won't be his father. It will be Blue Jays assistant coach John Schneider, who spoke about Vlad Jr.'s derby strategy before Monday's game. It also brought us the Major League debut of one of the most interesting prospects to come around in a long time, Brendan McKay. McKay has the unique designation of going through the Tampa Bay Rays system as a two-way prospect. Not only did he star on the mound down on the farm, he had a 951 OPS as a DH at AAA Durham. True to form, McKay sparkled in his Major League debut as a pitcher on Saturday, allowing no runs over six innings. And on Monday, as advertised, McKay made his second Major League debut as Tampa Bay's DH against the Orioles. But that wasn't the only debut happening in this game. There are few baseball images more iconic than Ken Griffey Jr. sliding into home plate as the Mariners completed their unlikely win against the Yankees. But put aside that the Mariners were down 0-2 in that series, that postseason almost never happened. The 1995 Seattle team needed to rally from 13 games back in August to eventually clinch their first playoff berth. For more on all the circumstances surrounding that amazing comeback, here's a piece from our upcoming special, the 1995 Mariners Saving Baseball in Seattle, narrated by Macklemore. Form. Our last call tonight takes us to Anaheim, where fans have been showing up at the Big A despite the team being on the road to leave their condolences, prayers, and love for Tyler Skaggs, his family, and his baseball brothers. The shocking.